Hi. Now, in this question, we're given that a circle has a centre C with coordinates minus 2, 4 and a radius of 5. And we've got to find the equation of the circle, given the answer in this particular format, and in part 2, show that the tangent to the circle at the point P with coordinates minus 5, 8 has the equation 3x minus 4y plus 47 equals 0. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video and do try the question and when you come back we'll run through the work solution. Okay, so how do you get on if you had a go? Well, first of all what I'd want to do is just draw a quick sketch of the circle with center at minus 2, 4 and a radius of 5. It's going to look, say, something like this. Circle radius 5 and the center C has coordinates minus 2, 4. Now, to find the equation of a circle, you should be familiar with the fact that a circle with a center x1, y1 and a radius r has this particular type of equation. x minus x1 all squared plus y minus y1 all squared equals the radius squared, r squared. So all we need to do then is just substitute our values into this equation. So therefore what we have got is, we'll just put a little intro here, brief one, okay, equation of circle, okay, is, and it's going to take on then the form x minus the center coordinate, x coordinate, which is minus 2, x minus minus 2, all squared, plus y minus y1, which is the 4 here, that's all squared, equals the radius squared, and the radius was 5, so that's going to be 5 squared, or 25. So what we've got here then, if we just clean this up, this is going to be x plus 2, all squared, plus y minus 4, all squared, equals 5 squared, which is 25. And if we expand each of the brackets, if we expand x plus 2, all squared, we get x squared, then we get 4x plus 4. And if we square out the second bracket, we get y squared minus 8y plus 16. And that equals 25. I'm going to subtract the 25 from both sides, so we get minus 25 equals 0. So already we're starting to get it to look in this form, okay, or go towards this form. I just need to group up my terms and we start with x squared and then we've got the y squared term and then for x next we've got plus 4x and then for the y term we've got minus 8y and then we just group together the constants 4 plus 16 which is 20 minus the 25 is minus 5 and that equals 0. Okay. So there's our first part. Now for part two, let's just section this off here, okay. In part two, we've got to show that a tangent to the circle, let's come up here, okay, give us a bit more room. Show that the tangent to the circle at the point P with coordinates minus 5, 8 has this equation here. Well, let's say that the point minus 5, 8 is, say, this point here, okay? We'll just label that as minus 5, 8. It's not drawn to scale, but we've got our tangent at this point here. Let's just draw the tangent in. Now, being a straight line, any line has the form y minus y1. Let's just put it in here, y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line, and I'm going to take this point here as the point on the line, and m is the gradient of the line. Point is, we don't know the gradient of the line at the moment. But what we do know is that it's 
perpendicular to this line here, the line in blue. We know that this point here is the point P, so I'm going to work out the gradient of CP and then use the perpendicular gradient rule that the product of the gradient should be equal to minus 1 to get this gradient. And then, as I say, we should be able to get the equation of the tangent. So, let's start by finding the gradient of CP. So, let's just put here gradient CP equals, and to do that we do the difference in the y coordinates, so that would be 8 take away 4, okay, divided by difference in the x coordinates, which is minus 5, minus, minus 2, minus 5, minus, minus 2. I could have done the difference in the y coordinates the other way around, 4 minus 8 divided by minus 2 minus minus 5. I would still get exactly the same answer. And that answer is 8 take away 4, which is 4, and minus 5 plus 2 is going to be minus 3. So you're going to end up with minus 4 thirds in total there for that gradient. Now that means that therefore we've now got the gradient of the tangent. Okay, gradient of tangent. Well, if we apply the perpendicular rule, the product of the gradients should equal minus 1. So all we've got to do is invert this and switch the sign. So the gradient of the tangent will be 3 quarters. So that if you multiplied these two together, you'd find you get minus 1. Now we've got the gradient of the tangent, and it's positive, it looks good from the point of view of the sketch. We can then get the equation of the tangent. So we'll put here, therefore, equation of tangent. Okay. Always feel it's a good idea just to give some kind of introduction to these. Okay, is. And it's going to be y minus y1, y1 we're taking as 8, equals m, the gradient of the tangent, which we've just seen is 3 quarters, multiplied by x minus x1, and x1 is the minus 5 there. Now if we're to get it in this format, we need to make sure we get rid of this 4 here. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 4, so that's 4 times the y is going to give me 4y, and then 4 times minus 8 is minus 32. And if I multiply this side by 4, we just end up with 3 times the bracket. So 3 times the x is 3x. And then we've got 3 times, essentially here, plus 5. 3 times plus 5 is going to be plus 15. So I just need to rearrange this now. Starting with the x term as positive, I'm going to take 4y from both sides and add 32. And if I do that, I'm going to get 3x, and then minus the 4y. Then I've got 15 plus the 32, which is going to be plus 47. And that's going to equal 0. And that's what we have to show. Okay?